Okay, arms forward. Remember, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Regulate your breathing. Control what you can. And don't hold your breath unless you're doing combative motions. Don't work an injury. Don't cause an injury. Don't be an injury. Let's just go a little bit faster. Really rotate those shoulders and warm them up. Now we're just going to reverse that and going backwards. Shoulder level height, arms straight out, and then pinch the shoulder blades, but don't crank it in. Just almost turn this into a workout. Pull, pull, pull. Hey, Mr. Nichols, welcome. Okay, a couple more. We'll go just a little bit faster. Just watch pulling those shoulder blades together. Excellent. We'll just do a couple more. One, two, three, four, and hold on five. Hold. And release it right up under the chin. Small turns. A little bit more if you can. Just lightly turn. And take a step out. Put your hands out again, shoulder level. Remember, we always want to work with purpose. So this hand comes with the thumb up. This is with the thumb down, like you're grabbing an arm. Pull, reverse the hands. Pull, reverse the hands. Every warm up workout can be purposeful or specific. Go a little bit faster. Watch the lower back. Scoot your feet down a little bit if you want. yourself up and knees up and up and um, we'll do a set of 30 so each set will go a little bit higher one just let's get some two three some blood in the legs four five six seven eight nine ten maybe higher and quicker one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take it out a little bit, go to the side, hand out, one, two, three, fluid motions, guys, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get out a little bit. We'll go behind us now. Make sure there's nothing behind you that you're going to hit. Stiff leg. Pull your hips over a little bit. Swing, lean a little bit, stretch out the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, move around a little bit. Get a little bit, uh, warm up our arms. We'll go a little stationary first, and then we'll move into uh, our kicks. So let's go, uh, let's keep it away from the horse stance. Let's go to the right bow stance. So right leg forward, and again we start with the temple punches. Just again, up and turn, and if you go out to the 45, it goes this way, not this way at the end. So the arm kind of stays locked until the end. So I want you guys doing the 45 punch, not this one. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, full turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go out a little bit with that stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now make sure you have a good tight fist. Focus impact point on the very first knuckle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, pull back to the cap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the other cap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward to the left bow, or the other bow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, up to the horse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a little lower, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a little lower, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back up to the left front cat, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten to the right cat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now put the opposite hand out that the leg is opposite. Front kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, other hand out, same leg kicks. One, nothing else moves. Isolate from here up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slide back out to the horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop to the low back stance. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull up to a neutral stance, hands on the hips, pull the shoulders back, open the hands, move around a little bit. We'll go forward to the right bow, left high inside block, right temple punch. So maybe do a double block. Okay, remember call me the ocean. Okay, so it's this kind of a shortcut of that. Hit, hit, strike. Okay, so we're gonna go step, high inside block, temple strike, and back. You don't have to pivot if you don't want to. As you get flowing though, I want it to more look like that. Slap it out of the way and then strike. But in the beginning, let's do 100% of the movements. One, right bow, inside hooking block, temple strike. Two, right bow, left inside block, temple strike. Here we go, three. Four. Five. Six, temple strike, thumb is down, yeah, there you go, back, palm toward me, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten. Back. Now we make sure we don't keep the uh, robot, roboticness of movement. So when we step, just watch the hands. They don't stop. Okay, so I'm, I'm exaggerating the circle. Okay, it's just a little tighter. I come, this hand, I come to my hip, but I don't stop on my hip. I just pass it by. So it's, it's an all one motion. Okay, so we're going to speed it up and use your circles. Get them big, get them small. One, here's a short one. Good. Two, three, four, five. Good, short and tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, Now we're going to take the same thing and we're going to lengthen it out a little bit. One, bigger circles in other words. A little long arm. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. We'll go shorten it up and sidekick. So kind of a little bit more shortened, abrupt motions. I like when I do the short motions. Realize and visualize. Here comes the punch. If I already step and then do the blocks, I want this hand coming up because I know what I'm going to do. Hand comes up as it steps. Bang and then out. Here we go. One. And back. Two. And back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Six. Back, seven, back, eight, 
Back. Nine. Back. Last one. And stay on ten. Ten. So as you come back down, we've been really practicing on grounding on the last stance, flowing through. So that ten we grounded. This time, you land, open next, and then ground. Okay, so everything maintains the same. Flow, one, kick, turn, and stop. Here we go. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven. here, the way to stabilize in all your stances is to think down. That's all you have to do. Even if you don't move, think down and um, don't rethink it. So we're stable here, lose that, go back to the left bow and then stabilize. So from side kick, horse, open X to the left bow, stabilize. So here we go. One, Think down. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Five. From the uh, left open X, we were stable, don't stabilize, pull up completely sideways, throw the roundhouse kick in, and then stabilize on the other horse sets, and then back. One.
Okay, move around a little bit. Let that leave your body. No tension, relax. Bounce. Okay, let's go back to, uh, we've done Call Me the Ocean, and we've done Left Pointed Arrow. So let's do a little bit of each of those before we go to the third tempo motion. Call Me the Ocean, stepping back to a left front um, cat. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, shift your weight towards all the back, but a little bit. Keep the upper body level front kick. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side now. I want to keep this this direction for now. Um, ah, heck, let's let's go ahead and do the opposite. So back to the right and to the right block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Okay, let's do a um, poison stick. So from our combative cat, or our combative neutral. Cat, stand up. Cat, stand up. Okay, we're gonna back leg, which is my right leg, crosses over 45 degrees. My hands come up the center line. Once they're up past my head, they come out, then they drop. I need to get above his arm with my arm. If I'm in this position here, he can, I might not be able to get him down if he's a strong guy. If you lift it up, there's nowhere to go but down. So that's our poison of snakes. So in the form, it looks like this. Or it should look like that. So here we go. Stance, one. Back. So keep your left leg for, uh, left leg planted, right leg moves. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the temple motions have some unique properties to them, so they're kind of really fun to train. Um, I won't get into it too much, but a lot of the motions use two hands at two times. They mirror each other, okay? So that's useful, um, and they're mostly defensive. So it's beneficial, though, that we understand that this is a hand form, not a leg form. We're moving our legs in the form so that we're not standing in one place. And it only has three stances, right? So go back to the one that we did um, as we stepped, but take the left hand out of it um, at the midpoint. So you're going to go up to here, and then this, this hand, which is my left, is going to stay right there. It doesn't need to go over here in my mind because there's nothing over here. Okay, so he's here right-handed. He's in this position here. Nothing over there but wasted space. So we're going to utilize it. So we start our motion upward. We realize what's happening, and we come down with just one, and this is right where above his elbow, okay, or his shoulder, so that that can't come in. Okay, so here we go. Think about the opponent coming in. Up, back. Here it goes. Two, back, three, back, four, 
Back. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. Back. Hold on, ten. Ten. Okay, so you're above his arm, or, or close. His arm might be right here, right? So you might be this way. So elbow right here. What we're going to do is we're going to step to the left bow, finish the poison snake out. Just let it go out and down, which brings his throat and his head and his arm. His arm is locked right here. Now just raise it right up into the throat. Okay? And normally you step through, right? And finish. We're, we're going to stair step this. So here we go. First motion is the same. Step, cover, stretch, lift. Got it. And back. Easier to do if you can really see your opponent. One. Back. Very good. Two. Back. Three. A little better workout. You can drop your stances down. Back. Four. using my right hand as a lifting motion, not a strike. So lift his chin up. Six. Seven. Okay, so now just watch for a second here. I'm um, gonna just kind of watch my timing when I put it together. So it's not individual. I'm going out and up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go one, and the arm is already there, and then just comes up. Okay, so we alert it exactly the way it's supposed to be. Then we start figuring out the shortcuts and what's effective. So let's add a motion to this. Remember, applications by necessity are usually shortcuts because you're in combat. You need to move fast. Um, but you still need to know how you got there. So you step over. We're going to do the same motion. I'm going to add one thing to it. When you're here, add that to the step. That's not really adding it. I just want your timing different. You're going to lift up. You're touching his chin. You're just going to hook your hand and just finish with an elbow smash. Yep. Bang, and you can step out with the shot to the throat if you really want to get combative. Okay, one, up, finish with that step, lift, chin, strike, either temple, side of the neck, and back. Two, three, So in all the temple motions that we're learning, of course, one, 
everything can be done separately as well as together. So I'm going to move to left pointed arrow now. By the way, we're not doing these in order, okay? Because there is no order, they're just temple motions. So on left pointed arrow, um, left hand is high in, in whatever position, depending on, you know, kind of where you want to do it. And the upward pointed arrow, um, and you're pointing that way, which is to the left. So this is, you know, up and down. This is across. Sometimes you'll see this come up and then pull across, a little dynamic um, movement to, looks pretty cool. Other times, this comes straight up and this comes up and this even can come down. If you think of them as blocks, it doesn't really matter what you're doing as long as in your head you're blocking. So in this first one, we're going to do the opponents in front of you, but you might have two opponents because I really don't want to turn sideways if I can help it. He throws his punch. We're just going to come straight up with that. You're going to expose this. Don't worry about that yet. You're right here. This does not get up to here. It stays here. Okay, so left pointed arrows, we're using just the right hand of left pointed arrow. Okay, and you're moving to your left. One, two, just get the hang of that motion. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's do that again. This time I'll face you. So turn to your for your cat, lift this motion up, and there's another triple motion, um, uh, twisted willow, that comes right after this and goes into here, and it leads itself, it lends itself to a pretty good self-defense motion. So here comes the first punch, cover, you're opened here, second punch, drop down, lift your hand up, shoot right toward the eyes, or you can leopard strike the throat, or you can vertical punch the face, or the sternum. And this is covering your end up. So this is uh, twisted willow. Okay, so left, so we're using kind of two tempo motions here, but the focal point is going to be left pointed arrow. Just think of this as a secondary motion. So here we go. Let me face your direction. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. Back, tap, back. So the first part of the battle is knowing the form, but it's pretty useless if you don't know what to do from the form. So the real trick is knowing what to do from the form, so, or what, what to do with the form. So we're gonna go, same motion here, here, but this time we're gonna move in and just lift the elbow up under the chin, right? Just right into a pushed in horse. So if I face, it's block, so it's going to be a little bit faster and subtler. It goes one, two, three. Okay, so we'll just move in on that one. So here we go. One, lift, drop, strike, and back. Yep, just right, race in there with that upward elbow. You can also land in a horse stance if you want to train it a little. You don't get as much distance, but still good training. Two, I think I might alternate from both of them. Yep. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
10. Okay, stretch it down for just a second, release the lower back. Okay, bend the knees. That was my coffee machine turning off, so I had to wait and uh, shake it out. Okay, so this is left pointed arrow. Utilizing the left arm, we're just going to pull it straight up. So now it's going to be a little bit here. This is upward pointed arrow, upward pointed arrow, downward pointed arrow. We're not going to use the upward part of it. We're going to turn it. So as I turn to the stance, this clears this way. This clears that way. So they kind of mirror each other now. Okay, so it's going to go and up. Okay, one, and then you'll end up in left pointed arrow like you do in the form. Two, three, good, back, four, and we'll start making sure our back leg is bent. Okay, most of it's supporting our, our weight. So our, our hip and ankle knee thing, we drop. Back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back. Now we put a little bit of a, some art to it. So hands stay up together, and then they pull, and they separate. So it goes up and around. Okay, so you can see this, but up and around. One motion. Up and around. Up and around. Okay, so you don't worry too much about the clearing. Just lift and pull. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now let's go back to the original so we don't get too lost here. This goes straight up. And this pulls around. So this is this direction, this is that direction, and you're here. Whether they're closer or further, sort of depending on where your opponent is. Once you get here, okay, once you get to here, think about being on the inside of his arm. Want this arm to fold down as you drive that out away. Okay, so you're gonna go left pointed arrow, drop, and drive that out away, and back. Left pointed arrow, down, and cut it out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And back. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Calming the ocean. Poisonous snakes. And then if we want to get to left pointed arrow, you got to go to the left. So there you are. You're back into 
and the left front cap. Okay? So if we add the three together, we change the four and we make our own numbers up. So here you go. One, calming the ocean. Step forward with the application that we did here. Just don't do the application. Okay, now this hand, I'm going to scoop it under to get to here, right? And then pull and back. Okay, so call me in the ocean. Poison snakes. And then the way you do with this arm, you pull it underneath so it comes all the way to here. And then you pull it back to the left. Yep, so it's up high. Good. And back. This is kind of a nice transition. I kind of like this um, combination. I like them all. Calming the ocean is good. We've got that. Poisonous snakes. Now we just come right up underneath here to turn. And we pull into the left point of the arrow. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back, four, five, back, six, Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. And back, and 10. And back. Got it. Okay. Let's have, uh, can you do it backwards, Mr. Cook? Can you flip around and do it one time? Turn around and let me see the, yeah, and just do it one more time. Ready, go. Dead on. Got it. Awesome job. Okay, so we've got uh, calming the ocean. We've got, that's from a left front cat in the form, uh, poisonous snakes, open X, around, and then left pointed arrow, left and up. Those are the three motions we've gone over. And we've kind of combined them a little bit, which is fine, but that's what you want to do. So, calm the ocean. Kick, crossover. Now remember how we lifted his chin up? Okay, so we're gonna instead of stepping, we're gonna lift it as we turn into left pointed arrow and drive that elbow in. All right, just again another way of mixing it up a little bit, make your brain think. So calm in the ocean. One strike. Uh, watch my elbow, Mr. Cook. It's coming down, not up. It's coming down. Okay, so I am um, that way, this way, way up. This this part of the elbow from here to here. Okay, calm in the ocean. Front kick. Poison snakes. Lift. Reach underneath. Left pointed arrow. Step forward. Elbow drive. There you go, and back. Two, calm in the ocean, kick, lift, and left point of arrow, hit. So when you have motions like this, or when you have your form down, 
you got the discipline, you can get a little, you can start thinking a little bit. So from this position here, I know where my opponent is. I lift his chin up. I know what usually happens, that the groin pulls out, right? So as, as I come back around, I can take my left hand and hit into the groin again. Or I can use a back fist, or I can use an elbow, and then I can withdraw and still do left pointed arrow to here. And then step out to the side and finish with some elbows. So the, the benefit of learning these forms comes from when you know them so well that you don't have to think about the form and you can add your emotions to, to it and come up and that's how it, that's how it becomes an art. So we're gonna go calming the ocean, front kick, bang, step over, poison the snakes, lift, palm strike to the groin, withdraw into left pointed arrow, step over to the side, Drive the elbow in, maybe throw a knife hand in, maybe throw a side kick in, finish in an open X. Okay, now I'm just having fun. Okay, let's pick that stretch out, it's about that time. Let's go back down. I still, for some reason, working on this stretch. Because I haven't felt what I felt three or four lessons ago. So I wanted to open up these hips. Okay, relax, and maybe take this time to review everything we just did in your head. Get extra training in. Probably a little bit of visualization. There's calming the ocean, poison stank, in the left pointed arrow. Push like you got walls. Push. Separate your shoulders. Push. Sometimes when you push, your legs start to push too. Yep, that's working for me. Now just ease up. Walk yourself up. stretch you're doing, but other direction, just move it, range of motion. And I'll move around a little bit, wiggle, wiggle, up and down. Okay, so there we go. Um, maybe on Wednesday we'll do some more applications off of those three if you have time to practice them. Doesn't do us a lot of good memorizing the art to move on to three other motions. But it does do you a lot of good as a martial artist to see a lot even, and to try a lot even if you don't master it. I know that's probably very frustrating. It's really, really, really frustrating for me too. I prefer to do one movement until I've mastered it, but you can't master a movement until you see all aspects of it. So my instructor once told me, because I was very overwhelmed in the art, because I got so much knowledge so fast, he says in the art of Kung Fu, we like to go wide, Get those roots spread and then go deep, um, opposed to go deep and then wide. So what he said was, all the more you see, then when you come back, the easier it is to, to focus on what you need to do. I didn't quite understand it back then, but I do. But the opposite is also true once you have your base. So as a martial artist, just like in fitness, right? Do the same exercise all the time, it starts to lose its effect. Well, in martial arts, in combat, that would be wrong. 
but in learning the art, it's right. So if you could do this, even if you forgot that motion, and then next time we're doing this, next time we're doing this one, your body is going to adapt to any position, and then when it comes back time to memorize it, you can drop, dive deep into that movement. Okay, let's get that out. Good job on Monday, guys. Pass it, crash it, up. Hey! Okay. 